there. Let's talk about the weather. There's a live look outside. Meteorologist Lee Southwick in the Weather Center. Really an interesting week here because we're starting off, let's just say it, awesome is yes, a good word for this right now. But yeah. things are going to be changing pretty quickly. Unfortunately, yes, tomorrow is a weather alert day. Really a weather alert night right. because the severe weather risk will arrive in the evening. And more wind than rain, I take it. Is that right? We have wind, yes, starting in the afternoon and then damaging wind when those storms arrive. That's one of the main risks. But unfortunately, tornadoes are also something right. we're going to have to watch out for. So we do have a lot going on. It is gorgeous out there today. Beautiful blue skies. Temperatures are chilly. We are sitting in the 50s out out there and high temperatures will only be on either side of 60 degrees today. The sunshine will stick around and we will only have a light breeze today. Also tonight, only a light breeze out of the east 5 to 15 miles an hour. It will be cold tonight with lows anywhere from 38 to 48 degrees. We will start to see some cloud cover build as we head into tomorrow and then tomorrow is a weather alert day. It will be windy. We will have some afternoon showers out there and then in the evening and overnight hours, that's when thunderstorms arrive and those could be severe. Let's start with the wind. We have a high wind watch that goes into effect at noon tomorrow. It lasts all the way until 6 a.m. Wednesday morning. That's for winds out of the south 30 to 40 miles an hour and gusts up to 50 miles an hour. We will also have temperatures that are a little bit different tomorrow. Notice that we see a warming into the evening. So highs tomorrow near 70 degrees, but by around the lunch hour, we'll still only be sitting in the low and middle 60s. We'll reach 70 later on. Notice how rain chances increase as we head through the day as well. So in the morning, maybe an isolated shower. That's about it. We will see more shower activity develop later on in the afternoon, then into the evening. We'll have to watch out for an isolated thunderstorm or two as well out ahead of that. That could be severe. And then the line of storms arrives overnight, likely arriving to the North Shore. Right now it looks like around 10 a.m. That's our p.m. Excuse me. That's what this one model is showing that will move across the North Shore 11 midnight and then on the South Shore still arriving around 11 p.m. pushing east throughout out the overnight hours and that line of storms that will bring a risk of all modes of severe weather. So we are under a level three out of five threat of severe weather that's enhanced. That's for our entire area. Everyone here in that orange color. So when it comes to the wind threat, there is a 30% probability of damaging wind gusts 58 miles an hour or stronger. When it comes to the tornado probability, there's a 10% probability of tornadoes, but unfortunately we are in the hatched area, these dashed black lines here. That's the hatched area, which means we could see stronger tornadoes, EF2 or stronger tornadoes as these uh, the severe weather sets up. So our two biggest risks, damaging wind and tornadoes. There's also a risk of flooding and a low risk of hail. So that's why it is a weather alert day tomorrow. Really the bulk of the severe weather tomorrow evening and overnight tomorrow night. We cool back down into the 50s behind it. We'll have a good bit of sunshine until our next chance of rain on Sunday.